Number twelve of Sea Poems by Various. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Number twelve. The Admiral's Ghost by Alfred Noyes. I tell you a tale tonight, which a seaman told to me, with eyes that gleamed in the lantern light and a voice as low as the sea. You could almost hear the stars twinkling up in the sky and the old wind woke and moaned in the spars and the same old waves went by singing the same old song as ages and ages ago while he froze my blood in that deep sea night with the things that he seemed to know a barefoot pattered on deck ropes creaked then all grew still and he pointed his finger straight in my face and growled as a sea-dog will do you know who nelson was that poor little shrivelled form with a patch on his eye and the pinned-up sleeve and a soul like a north sea storm ask of the devonshire men they know and they'll tell you true he wasn't the poor little chawed-up chap that hardy thought he knew he wasn't the man you think his patch was a dern disguise for he knew that they find him out do you see if they looked him in both his eyes he was twice as big as he seemed but his clothes were cunningly made he'd both of his hairy arms all right the sleeve was a trick of the trade you've heard of spirits no doubt well there's more in the matter than that but he wasn't the patch and he wasn't the sleeve and he wasn't the laced cocked hat nelson was just a ghost you may laugh but the devonshire men they knew that he'd come when england called and they know that he'll come again i'll tell you the way it was for none of the landsmen know and to tell it you right you must go a starn two hundred years or so the waves were lapping and slapping the same as they are to-day and drake lay dying aboard his ship in nombre dios bay the scent of the foreign flowers came floating all around but i'll give my soul for the smell of the pitch says he in plymouth sound what shall i do he says when the guns begin to roar and england wants me and me not there to shatter her foes once more you've heard what he said maybe but i'll mark you the pints again for i want you to box your compass right and get my story plain you must take my drum he says to the old sea wall at home and if ever you strike that drum he says why strike me blind i'll come if england needs me dead or living i'll rise that day i'll rise from the darkness under the sea ten thousand miles away that's what he said and he died and his pirates listenin round with their crimson doublets and jewelled swords that flashed as the sun went down they sewed him up in his shroud with a round shot top and toe to sink him under the salt sharp sea where all good seamen go they lowered him down in the deep and there in the sunset light they boomed a broadside over his grave as meanin to say good night they sailed away in the dark to the dear little isle they knew and they hung his drum by the old sea wall the same as he told them to two hundred years went by and the guns began to roar and england was fighting hard for her life as ever she fought of yore it's only my dead that count she said as she says to-day it isn't the ships and it isn't the guns will sweep trafalgar's bay do you guess who nelson was you may laugh but it's true as true there was more in that poor little chawed-up chap than ever his best friend knew the foe was creepin close in the dark to our white cliffed isle they were ready to leap at england's throat when oh you may smile you may smile but ask of the devonshire men for they heard in the dead of the night the roll of a drum and they saw him pass on a ship all shining white he stretched out his dead cold face and he sailed in the grand old way the fishes had taken an eye and his arm but he swept trafalgar's bay nelson was francis drake oh what matters the uniform or the patch on your eye or your pinned-up sleeve if your soul's like a north sea storm end of the admiral's ghost